God damn. How much longer? Oh, fuck. According to ways, an hour. A fucking hour? It's a quarter of a mile. Dude, welcome to Miami Construction. Should we call Wayne, tell him we're gonna be late? No, fuck no. Not a fucking chance. <sighs> well, what about Vern? We should call him, right? No, Give no. him the good news? No, no, fuck that. Let that motherfucker sweat it out like I'm fucking sweating it out. <sighs> fuck! Let's go! Should we be doing this, Spence? Doing what? This! Fucking any of this! Open the bear! I mean, look at all the stress it's causing both of us. Are you stressed? Am I? Are you fucking kidding me right now? My psoriasis, I can feel it fucking festering. It moves around the body, you know? I can feel it closing in on my nuts right now. And after that conversation with the boss man, I don't know, I'm starting to think maybe we are on the evil side of things here. Maybe you're just not emotionally cut out for this, Joe. Yeah, maybe. And clearly you're not either. Ever tell you the story about my dad? What, your real dad or your adopted dad? Asshole, my adoptive dad is my real dad. Okay, okay, good. I didn't want to hear a story about you searching for your biological father. Shut the fuck up, Joe. Done. Police continue. My dad, Carl, was a loving man. Tough man. Like you? Much more loving, much tougher. Hmm. He worked in the uh, in the mills in Bethlehem, all right? Provided a decent living, he took care of us, supported us. Nothing lavish. Right. So one day he gets a call into the big boss's office. First time he's met him in 30 years. So what did the boss say? Nothing. Nothing? What the fuck kind of story is this? You see, it's not about what the boss said. It's what he didn't say, Joe. He didn't say anything interesting at all. So after 30 years, my dad finally had a chance to sit across from the man who was running everything. And you know what he saw? What? Nothing. Nothing special. My dad realized in that moment, he could have been that guy sitting behind that desk. But he realized it too late. We're all just a bunch of guys, Joe. Some of us believe that we could do anything. Some of us believe we can. So when you ask me why I want to do this, my answer is because I know what guy I want to be. What about you? I definitely don't want to be the guy that just lets the clock run out, you know? I definitely do not want to be the guy who just sits there while Time fucking stands still. I want to be the guy. The fucking guy. Yeah. Yeah. The fucking guy. Then let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, shit. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I've been in the right place, but it must have been a wrong time. I done said the right thing, but it must have been a wrong time.